New Testament reading for Monday, the 7th of February, Acts chapter 16, beginning at verse 1. Paul travelled on to Derby and Lystra, where a Christian named Timothy lived. His mother, who was also a Christian, was Jewish, but his father was a Greek. All the believers in Lystra and Iconium spoke well of Timothy. Paul wanted to take Timothy along with him, so he circumcised him. He did so because all the Jews who lived in those places knew that Timothy's father was Greek. As they went through the towns, they delivered to the believers the rules decided upon by the apostles and elders in Jerusalem and told them to obey these rules. So the churches were made stronger in the faith and grew in numbers every day. They travelled through the region of Phrygia and Galatia because the Holy Spirit did not let them preach the message in the province of Asia. When they reached the border of Mysia, they tried to go into the province of Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. So they travelled right on through Mysia and went to Troas. That night Paul had a vision in which he saw a Macedonian standing and begging him, come over to Macedonia and help us. As soon as Paul had this vision, we got ready to leave for Macedonia because we decided that God had called us to preach the good news to the people there. We left by ship from Troas and sailed straight across to Samothrace and the next day to Neapolis. From there we went inland to Philippi, a city of the first district of Macedonia. It is also a Roman colony. We spent several days there. On the Sabbath we went out of the city to the riverside where we thought there would be a place where Jews gathered for prayer. We sat down and talked to the women who gathered there. One of those who heard us was Lydia from Thyatira, who was a dealer in purple cloth. She was a woman who worshipped God and the Lord opened her mind to pay attention to what Paul was saying. After she and the people of her house had been baptised, she invited us, Come and stay in my house if you have decided that I am a true believer in the Lord. And she persuaded us to go. 